Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing our journey of challenge runs with uh, the animals. Animal challenges is I think what I will call the series. It's the fourth installment of the series and after we have seen how the bears are winning against literally everything. How the wolves are great in dealing damage but uh, found their masters uh, finally um, against the guards and how the lizards uh, if played right can work very well unless the enemy multi attacks we are now coming to the B tier so we've uh, left S tier gone through um, the A tier predators and now we're at B tier as always I'm going to start with builds and then we're taking an easier fight uh, to just showcase how the uh, characters are working or how the animals are working and then we're taking a, a harder fight now let's move into today's combination we do have uh, six uh, pigs with us or boars rather and i managed to uh, capture five dominant saws uh, which is the equivalent of an alpha wolf so i decided with each of them to go for the regeneration or infused color again uh, they are coming in at 300 hit points which is just as much as the wolves all right so infused colors because the alternatives aren't that great um, i'm still thinking about other colors uh, from time to time the magma color was okay i could think that in order to make this challenge a bit easier we could uh, give them protective colors so that each of them has like one extra life so to speak but that's a bit like cheating. I want to uh, showcase how sturdy or non-sturdy these creatures are when you're fighting with them. So in terms of builds, uh, pigs have the unique uh, uh, factor that if you keep them long enough, you can essentially execute them for some meat. So that's a nice little side effect. And they do have a lot of abilities just to make themselves food neutral. Unfortunately, what they do don't do is make themselves neutral in the combat. In combat, they are still counting for 0 0.5, uh, which is just as much as a wolf. So two picks uh, means one extra enemy. And I can tell you with certainty that two picks are not worth one enemy oftentimes. So we we went with uh, thick skin, damage reduction 25%. That's okay. It's almost a protection, a permanent one. Um, the next one isn't even a combat bonus. You could either go for carry capacity or assign them uh, to the campfire. Then I got uh, or went with Harry Creature. Each time the unit receives a critical hit, it gains repost, which sort of is a bit like the wolves, uh, which downplay uh, critical hits to normal and then counterattack immediately. But unfortunately for the uh, pigs, they are actually taking the critical hit. So I would be very, very surprised if they are surviving a critical hit from a level 14 enemy. And then finally, uh, they can either skill into destabilization or uh, become more angry and increase the damage. And really the idea is I went into uh, harmed and dangerous out of multiple reasons. I think that a damage increase uh, here would actually make sense if we can let the, um, the dominant saws live long enough then they could be very, very angry and start dealing some serious damage. So they gain five angry stakes, which is effectively 100% extra damage. So if we can just give them enough um, hits, then that should stack up very, very nicely. You can automatically see that, unfortunately, not unlike uh, their wolf counterparts, they don't have the carnivorous uh, ability to self-heal so they completely rely on the infused colors in order to do that and on top of uh, that they don't really have any good defense abilities other than hairy creature and the permanent 30 percent reduction so that's why they are just literally one tier below what we've seen before the wolves tank with evasion the lizards uh, tank by essentially um, getting dodge and then managing around dodge both of them are viable options if you spend enough um, yeah if you spend enough valor into it but unfortunately boars don't have that luxury they are pure flankers and supporters so to speak they have a lot of out of combat stuff but for this challenge that's not going to help us so 
let's find a first battle, a moderately difficult one, and see how we're going to do. Fabulous! So we found a few wolves, and what better way of demonstrating our pigness than fighting against an A tier predator? So the wolves needed to fight against the bears, uh, that was A versus S tier, now it's B tier versus A tier. Always a punch one weight class up and not down. Dominant Sauce uh, being brought to the front line. Got our Beastmaster. And we need to make sure that these wolves, uh, they do have bleeding as an ability, so that will uh, be quite difficult. They also got evasion, so we need to make sure that both of that does not uh, play a role. As for the saws, they do have um, they do have the option to guarantee a critical hit once you have engaged uh, man enemy and another one attacks, so that is good. And each time uh, an allied animal dies, this unit gains fury, so they are sort of sacrificial um, predators in that uh, sense. I think what we're going to do is we're just trying to hit one of those wolves um, listen this is as good as it gets for now crits the wolf oh another crit nice and uh, we're going back because we don't need to expose ourselves and now it's time for the wolves to do their worst start to engage us and unfortunately we're starting to bleed which I already mentioned is going to happen and both of them got deflection which substantially mitigates uh, some of the damage so what we're going to do in return is we're going to use this overrun uh, quite a bit um, it gets uh, rid of uh, the deflection. And there's another hit. Did we get our buff? No, we did not. Unfortunate. Well, bleeding and the collar somehow um, offset each other. Just need to make sure that we're not being eaten up by a pack here. They get a lot of bonuses once multiple um, wolves are engaged. Good. That removes their defense. And this one is already engaged, which means we're getting some extra crit uh, or 100% crit chance by attacking them. Very good. Alpha is beginning to move in or not. Good. That's a solid kill. This one is already engaged, so we're getting some extra leverage. And let's move over here. Actually, let's move over here because that means we're supported. Wolves are ganging up on us. Triple hit, that was a fantastic uh, rush through. And we're continuing to just kill the ones that uh, are engaged. And move a little bit further back so that the ones that are already bleeding continue to, uh, to bleed. Or to be attacked.
Good, time for us uh, to get a couple more Valor. You can already see that these pigs are incredibly Valor hungry. Good, but we're doing well. Much better than I thought. Uh, thanks to also decent positioning. I think the, these types of fights also illustrate kind of the basics, of course. It's not the most difficult fight ever. But the wolves are up um, of equal level and definitely outnumber us quite heavily. There we go. Nice little hit. Yeah, the wolves and their bleeding ability, that's a nasty combination. Should have potentially picked snow wolves. being attacked from behind not good now that's not a sure crit moves to here and we're basically needing to uh, get our ranger into this area as well. Yep, elsewise we're being attacked from behind. Good, that's one hit. That's a kill. And this here is stopping the bleeding. And everybody gets some extra health. Okay, cool. 15 enemies. I'm not sure if we can pull this off. It's definitely going to be a bit more dangerous than anticipated originally. But that removes both um, protections or evasions rather We trapped this guy, he cannot attack. Fantastic. That's a kill. We're slowly but surely at, at least counter healing against all of uh, that bleeding damage. Now this guy goes next. I rather would like to keep the front line here. If I charge in, this guy will be able to get to us. That way he can only take 
step at our northern flank. Much to my surprise, so far we haven't really uh, been majorly hit. Granted, we're definitely taking a lot of damage. Removes uh, deflection. And now that should be the crit. Yep, 100 points of damage. Very nice. Tight formation for us is an advantage because we can overrun them. And although Overrun doesn't deal a hell a lot of damage, it still is quite okay. Just need to make sure I'm not using it too often. In this case it's needed because we need to get back into position. Positioning ourselves here so that both of them can use the ranger attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, the wolves have a high crit chance. I mean, they are a pack of wolves at the end of the day. We're down to seven. Not even sure if we're going to be able to, uh, to do this matchup. We're fighting seven against what appears to be 20-ish enemies. And despite our all of our attempts, they are dealing damage to us. Good. Luckily for us, we have, I think, blocked in most uh, of the enemies. So, like, we're still having a more or less equal fighting uh, there in terms of numbers. Problem that I'm seeing is we won't get rid of the bleeding. That's uh, going to be a continuing issue. This guy is supported, but still took the hit like a champ. Also, they do have unlimited or near unlimited uh, action point, uh, Vela points. There we go. They can do their little howls every single time. We cannot. Good, that's another, uh, another stabilization. I think I need to heal up here because elsewise this dominant saw, uh, saw will take too much damage. Might as well position ourselves all the way up here. That opens up this flank but it's only one alpha. I think we can work with that. Healing for everyone. I'm trying to make it as difficult for them, uh, uh, for the wolves as possible to get multiple targets, right? So we're freshly healed, which means we can move back. Still has his defense. I think it's a case of we need to use our abilities now. Down to one Vela point. I'm gonna make that count. Problem is, they can always use deflection. As often as they feel like. Oh, 
we're going to attack over here. This guy doesn't have a turn uh, throughout the entire round, so might as well just leave him and block with them. Yeah, that's how much damage you deal when they do have deflection up. We really need to focus. Good, the alpha is blocked, which is good. Moves to here. And we're keeping a tight formation. Alright, we've been lucky on their uh, crit, uh, on their parts with the crits. As I say that, of course, they're getting a massive crit. This dominant saw here has a problem. Our flank is wavering. Not good. Not good at all. Nice hit. Unfortunately, he had deflection up. All we can do is... Basically get repost. Nice. That worked well. Killed him before he could kill us. There is the willpower. Good. 7 versus 7. These two are going next. That'll be willpower. Try to salvage that. All right, there we go. That's my boy. And unfortunately, I can't even heal because we're only getting one Vela point back. Luckily, the support here is good enough for now. Next one is that wolf down here. I think we're already at willpower here. Good. Let's hope that this will free him up and then track this wolf uh, to a different target. Slight healing just when we needed it. And there is the kill.
I think we're going to position ourselves here so that this boar isn't completely overrun. Unfortunate. There is only so much I could have done. Good, the Alpha here is in dire straits himself. Moving up, that's not a support by itself, but we're at least trying. Nice. Fantastic. That was a good hit. Moving up. These guys are building a nice uh, front line. And our uh, aggression stacks actually work out relatively well against targets that are dealing moderate damage like these wolves here don't get me wrong they still deal a bit of damage but it is moderate compared to what other targets would deal the self-healing and the stacks really work out well all right galvanizing this wolf goes next Trying to bind him with a dominant saw that still can take a hit. Yep, there we go. Problems to get through all of their defense. Fortunately, that's just a, a tiny bit of healing. That's all I got. Might as well use it as an offense. Gets rid of, uh, gets rid of the de uh, the protection and uh, or deflection rather. And with the death of only one dominant saw, I think we could say that was arguably borderline fantastic. That was a good uh, fight. We fought against not only 17, that was a bit more uh, than that. We fought against, I think, over 20 wolves overall and got ourselves only moderately in, in trouble. The biggest problem that I would uh, see is just the amount of hit points uh, that we had for tanking. All right, let me fill back up and we're going to see part two. All right, part two. We're now fighting against level 14 enemies. And not only level 14 enemies, but since we have a massive amount um, of wanted status, we're even getting reinforcements. It's a bit of a smaller group because we're down to three dominant saws and a boar. Apparently uh, one of uh, the other uh, dominant saws has not survived the last encounter and I do have an idea how about we're just using this mud here to our advantage let them come through all of it and we're going to bum rush the tech uh, tactician as well as the captain 
that could actually work out very well in our favor. I upgraded even further and now ate constitution food on top of all of the other food, so we're at 330. This, this is as good as it gets. I don't see us getting more traction ever. Okay. Um, oh wow, my captain is incredibly strong. Two twelve. This guy does his typical trick. Yeah, and before we're letting this guy act, I would really, really like to get the captain down. There we go, maximizing all of the damage that we do have available. And Captain Monfrewald is taking quite a beating here. Unfortunately, we are too, thanks to our increased constitution. Knock on wood. That was a good idea. We managed to survive that initial onslaught. <sighs> Unbelievable. I thought the tech uh, Titian was already in combat, but I must have been wrong. Just you can see the amount of damage, even though I buffed us up through the roof, we're still not able to compete uh, with that level of damage output. That's a double hit attack. Followed by an okay amount of damage. Should really sh uh, should have gotten wrath uh, to finish that captain. But it's about uh, the animals and not about uh, the ranger. We all know that rangers are very, very strong. Or archers, rather. Moves up. Really nice. Very solid hit. And we're binding that phalanx soldier there. Captain finally goes down. Unfortunately, now the reinforcements are coming. One thing that I will say, though, is uh, surprisingly, the boars have managed to, uh, to tie the record of the wolves. Because if you think about it, the wolves got two and a bit down. And to be fair, we already have that as well. This dominant saw is going to sacrifice itself. I don't see any chance of uh, holding ourselves against more AOE damage. So this is now willpower mode and then he or it will go down soon. Uh, 
uh, we were not in vil willpower mode yet, so here's the thing. Maybe this could work out. We're focusing our damage on the so uh, phalanx soldier. There we go. We have only one more enemy, a defender down here, one with measured response. That's well, it's going to be really, really painful for us. Um, but I think this guy is supported at the moment, right? No. Okay. Not good. Not supported. We're going to give it as many hit points as possible. There we go. Alright, fair enough. Look, could have been worse. We're moving into a nice surround. And I hope that we can kill that phalanx soldier. That would mean the boars would have done better than the wolves. Which would be a huge surprise. Enemies barely. Not. Uh, well, never mind. I was about to say first attack barely didn't uh, kill uh, kill them, but the second one very much did. Oh well. Nice little counter attack. So we're definitely doing better. We already got three or four down. And if it would be just for the original ones without any reinforcements, we would have done a tremendous job. We survived all two rounds. We would have beaten the original level 14 crew, just not with the reinforcements, right? So this is pretty much the point where, where it's going to be a GG. It's just a question, can we get one more down or is this it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> this is pretty much it. GG. Uh, it was fun. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Good, that could be a kill. There we go. Did even a little better than expected. Which... Uh, gets to show never give up, right? 
No, but in all seriousness, I think uh, for the showcase of uh, the boars, this is as good as it gets. We dealt a lot of damage, uh, kept them busy, almost survived three rounds. They will now uh, just zerk us down, simply because I don't have anything uh, left over. And they still have 11 units, but... I think B tier for uh, boars is a fair assessment. I might be reconsidering some of it uh, because if you're really just playing a animal uh, style playthrough or campaign, then these here might, in some regards, be better than uh, than wolves, at least when they're buffed up and when you can position quite well then their fury uh, stacks up nicely and i've seen a lot of damage out of them and they are definitely with that 25 percent damage reduction they feel more tanky than the wolves uh, felt yeah that's it from my end thanks a lot for watching guys uh, we're going to go further down the tier list and i hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the animal challenges so far take care and see you on the next one bye bye